Sadly, Missing Crown Prince is nearing its end. The stage is set for a bloody and engaging ending, as the Crown Prince takes the reins to defeat the bad guys. Prince Dusung finally gave up on Myung Yoon. I still can't understand his reasoning. Instead of being remorseful for the pain he has caused, by paving the way for the Crown Prince's grandfather's death, and by declaring war on his brother over a woman, he still seems crossed. The Crown Prince has every reason to be mad at Prince Du Sung, as he and his mother are behind some of his misfortune, and his ill treatment of him, instead, he extends an olive branch, which Prince Du Sung throws on his face, because of a woman who doesn't reciprocate his feelings. From the preview, he can be seen standing with his maternal grandfather, as they stage a coup. After his declaration to carry out the minister's investigation himself in the last episode, the king finally makes a decree. They can be seen publicly disgraced. Sang Rock and the Queen Dowager found out about her pregnancy, just when they decided to give up everything. This is bound to change everything, as they will do any and everything to protect their child. They wouldn't want the child to be an outcast. He can be seen planning a coup with the disposed ministers and Prince Du Sung. This wouldn't have been possible without Prince Du Sung, as a royal has to be installed after a coup. Hopefully, Prince Du Sung is playing a role, and hasn't completely fallen over to the bad side because of his unrequited love. What's more, the king has been using a substance to boost his strength, much to Myung Yoon's dismay. He can be seen suffering the after-effects in the preview. Because of his failing health, and the impending coup, he appoints the crown prince as king. From the missing crown prince to the king, has a good ring to it. This gives Yi Gun an even ground to combat with Sang Rock, who plans to go to the end. This means one has to die in the end. The good news is that Myung Yoon's curse has been lifted. This means we don't have to fear that one of them will die. As Yi Gun is now the king, hopefully, he finds a way to make her queen, despite her father's many atrocities. The joy on his face when she called him husband, was one of the highlights of the last episode. Seeing them happy together, was such a joy. What's more, it makes sense that Gab Suk and Oh Woo will end up together. On a scale of 1 to 10, how anxious are you for the next episode? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you liked this content, give it a like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell for all things wonderfully K-drama. Thanks for watching, bye.